Hey, Glenn Byers here. I was on a webinar the other day and I uh, was surprised to how many people really didn't know how to do a squeeze page. So I figured I'd uh, do a video on it and uh, help you out a little bit and show you, you know, it's really not that hard and give you the tools to do it. So let's get started here. Uh, this is a program called Composer. It's K O M P O Z E R dot net. That's where you can get the download. It is uh, free. I've been using this for two years. It's got a couple little glitches, but mainly it's a pretty good program. If you know how to do uh, use uh, something like uh, WordPress or anything that has like a little WYSIWYG, that's basically what this is. You know, you got your fonts here. You can actually publish from here if you put your uh, uh, your credentials and stuff in here. Um, you can browse once you have saved what you're done. You can hit the browse button and it'll put it up on the internet so you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is basically your you know normal stuff. Color. You got a highlighter. Your, your fonts up bigger and smaller your uh, boldness and underline pretty easy stuff alright let's get started here this is what you need to do hit table insert table pick one okay go back up here hit table oh wait a minute click on it, hit table, properties. This is how we're going to set this whole thing up. We're going to do it all in one shot. You want to hit table. I want to pick 600. And you have to pick pixel. We're going to pick a background color and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Well, let's pick a lighter one. Okay. Alright, this one's done. You need to go to sales. The reason you're going to top, this is going to put your header at the top instead of at the middle. I don't, I don't know why they have that, but I guess, you know. This right here is whatever you put on there. It'll center it. And you can have it left or right, but, you know, you need your header, head, header and stuff centered, so I always put it right there. Hit apply. Okay. And I don't know why I didn't center it. Maybe we forgot something. Go back up here to table properties. I know I did. I rem top center. Table left. This has to be center. Now it'll work. There we go. Alright, let's deal with this color right now. The reason I made this a color is because I want to make this a color, but it seems like, it, 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 as far as I know, I can't figure out any other way of doing it. But if you make this a color and then you color this, you can take this back to white or whatever color you want. But I like mine white. So, we're going to go to format page colors of backgrounds custom background I'm going to make it this color and hit OK and hit OK there we go now we can go back to this hit table properties this right here change it back to white and apply you're OK there all right, let's put our header on there and get this thing going. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I want to make that red. Let's make it that color. I'm going to make it bigger. And we're going to bold it. And let's check it out. 
that looks pretty good okay hit enter a couple times or whatever you wherever you want it on the page paste it in I'm going to bold that and that's it all right I'm going to hit enter a couple times and I'm going to go to my Aweber account uncheck this make sure this is unchecked copy alright this is kinda of technical not bad though see the cursor is blinking going into source there's your cursor it's blinking hit enter go back up one paste there's your form now this button I'll show you how to get that when we uh, we're going to do uh, two more videos one on Aweber and your autoresponder I have Aweber so I'm going to use Aweber as an autoresponder I show you how to put that button in and do this form and, and basically I'm going to go from start to finish as far as building up a list and we're going to do one on uh, thank you pages so that should be you know everything you need to start making some money and you need both of these you got to start building your list if you're not building a list you need to build a list I didn't do a list for like 18 months and then finally somebody got it through my head that I needed to do a list so I wasted all that time you got to have an you got to have an autoresponder you got to have a squeeze page and a thank you page it, it's a must if you want to make money online you got to have it alright that's pretty much it for this but I want to show you one more little trick uh, let's go up to format page and colors we're going to change this back to white just to be cool alright we're going to go back to that same thing and right here it says background images we're going to put an image in there there you go now you got a unique squeeze page with just a couple extra clicks and uh, let's change this I always make this smaller when I have the pictures behind them so all we have to do is go in the table properties I'm going to change this to 400 by 400 Let's make that five. It has to be five. I've done this before. And there you go. Look at that. Now you have a unique, your own unique squeeze page. There's lots of programs out there that'll give you the same exact thing with this unique thing. And they say all this, you know, you don't want to learn about all the HTML and this, but there basically wasn't nothing but that one little thing and uh, you could go one step further if you have a website and you have uh, a contact page and po privacy policy and uh, maybe a disclaimer or something you could go in there and right underneath this table you could put that information in there you, if you know how to do it, a little bit of HTML you put that information in there and you got your privacy policy and everything else not too bad okay I paused that for a second and I went ahead and put this in this is something I copied you know I have it at, at all times you know once you have your website you make this once, you put it in Notepad, and you save it, and every time this comes up, you can just copy it in. You might have to change um, the color sometimes. Let's see if we can do this here. There we go. And there you go. Now you have all these links for Google. Google kind of likes this stuff. 
you can also put your website in here you know copyrighted by whatever your website is and that's it and you'll be all set all right I hope this helped you out leave me a comment if you need any questions answered um, and I'll see you on the next video thanks